So I want you to think about setting up your workouts based on where you are in the cycle. And you have four distinct phases. I'll list them for you. You have your follicular phase, the ovulatory phase, the luteal phase, and the menstrual phase. So in the follicular phase, we have great levels of energy. Um, everything is sort of hormonally at a lower plateau level. So you can do things like cardio and take a fun class, but the idea is that you want to start and try new things at this time. So go take a group fitness class, something that you wanted to try for a while, and let your energy help you do that. In the ovulatory phase, energy is at its peak. We get a surge of testosterone, we have a surge of estrogen, we're feeling social. This is a time to really go for it with, at the gym. Do plyometrics, do intense, high interval intensity training, do all of that kind of uh, workout. In the luteal phase, there are two distinct parts to the luteal phase. There's the first half, which feels a lot like ovulation. We still have estrogen that's on the, on the incline, we have progesterone that's on the incline, and we have another surge of testosterone. So you can do things that are more uh, intense in nature, and I really recommend lots of strength training at this time. But during the second half of the luteal phase, you might start to feel a little bit more fatigued as both estrogen and progesterone decline. So you wanna try things like walking or yoga or a really great Pilates class, anything that's gonna help you enjoy staying physically active but not pushing yourself, jumping up and down when our energy is a little bit lower. In the menstrual phase, you know, you have to follow your own body's gauge. If you're feeling a little bit more tired on the first or second day, listen to that and maybe instead of pushing yourself to go to the gym those days when you're going to just be burning adrenal energy anyway, think about taking a walk, doing a gentle yoga class, or even taking a nap. Sometimes resting is the best form of exercise when the body is depleted. And depending on where you are in your healing journey from a hormonal standpoint, rest can be a valuable part of any exercise plan.